Hey guys, so welcome today to A Girl Get Visible. This is Akila Tompkins Robinson. I am the owner, founder here at Girl Get Visible and the author of my SEO workbook. And today I have a really special guest, Raven Waterman of Raven Wings LLC. She's here to talk to us a little bit about her SEO journey and how she started working with SEO, what it's done for her business, how it's helped her in everything um, that she's done up to this point. You'll also know, um, you probably have seen Raven's name before because she was just recently on the podcast talking about her specialty, which is um, helping women in leadership and um, being a therapist and helping women overall. And so we'll talk about how that's been able, how she's been able to use SEO to help get her voice out there in the work that she's been doing. So Raven, thank you for coming on. Can you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Hey, um, great, and thank you for having me on. So I am uh, Raven Waterman, as you see. I'm the owner and founder of Raven's Wings, LLC. Um, I am a licensed clinical therapist, uh, certified life coach, certified leadership coach in New York. Um, as you mentioned, I do focus on working with women and supporting them and becoming leaders in their lives, um, reaching their life goals, uh, mental health goals, professional goals. Um, and I've been in business now for about about, um, over a year and a half. So um, it's been very exciting so far. And my wife and a mom also. Thanks for that. Um, a lot of us are wives and moms. So we know the stress of, you know, the working and the working on the business and the work that you do is so important because you're, you're like, you know, working one on one with people. Can you tell us a little bit more about the different products you have? I know you have one on one. I know there's a membership coming. What are some of the different products that you've been working to get your SEO out there for? Right. Um, so my um, therapy practice is uh, right now individual therapy. Um, I do take some insurances that cover that. I also offer life coaching. Um, so women who want to work on particular goals, for example, you know, getting healthy, maybe going back to school, um, and then also executive leadership coaching. So women who are already in leadership positions and want to develop um, skills to continue to progress in their uh, in their leadership role. My focus or uh, the way that I structure the work is really through a leadership lens. Um, so whatever it is that you're focused on building, building leadership skills that will help you to move forward, strategic um, thinking, planning, and um, creating real action plans that will help you to progress. Um, and yes, I am excited to be uh, building a membership for um, skill development and um, goal attainment. So that's gonna be my first membership that I am uh, that I have in the works already, actually. Great, I love to hear about everything that you um, have going on because most people think about therapists and therapy and they don't think only one-on-one, -on -one. they don't think about the membership and the group aspects. And so maybe thinking, you know, well, I've got enough or I've got some people, do I need to get really out there? You're really showing that getting out there and the more you get out there, uh, the more people you can help and, and reach at the same time. So I wanna talk a little bit about before you started working on SEO, what were some of the problems you had with getting that message out there and getting your business out there um getting my message out there and getting my business out there i think were the problems um to be honest with you you know it was i didn't really have any idea that that mattered i thought you know you put up a website and people just come to it and then that's it i didn't realize that there was more to it than that and i think that was actually um my biggest problem Yes, that is a huge one. I'm glad you brought that one up. So how are you feeling? Like, how did it make you feel when you realized that this, that wasn't exactly what the, um, how you do things? <laughs> you need to do more than just the website. Yeah. Um, overwhelmed initially. I have, I was sort of like, oh, wait a minute. I've been, cause it was a few months in and I had already, you know, I had the site up and, and I wasn't getting any real traffic to it. I wasn't. And so I just was like, I don't, I'm lost. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing or um, how to make this different. Um, and so I, I think at the point that you and I, I met back up and I realized that this was something that you did, I was just overwhelmed and like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. So you kind of alluded to my next question, which was, how did you find me? Mm -hmm. um, as Raven said, we've known each other for years. We went to Seton Hall together. So um, lots and lots of years. <laughs> 
but not in the same context. Like when we knew each other, we didn't have businesses. Uh, we were just budding in careers and we met back up um, at an at an event, right? I think it was right. like, the expo. Yes. And so um, can you talk a little bit about that? Like when you met me, you know, what, what were kind of your thoughts getting into the getting into the realm of what I do and trying to find out more? What were your thoughts about that? Right. So um, I immediately brought bought the, the workbook from you at the expo. I was one, happy to, to support what you were doing, but two, like, oh, this seems like something I should be learning. Um, and so I started going through that and realized that, okay, um, there was a lot of good information in that, but I really needed to understand what I was doing wrong. And so um, that for me was, okay, I, I wanna continue this working relationship with Akila. I wanna understand this more than, um, than I do right now. So I think starting with the workbook and reading through that and realizing that, oh, there is a lot more to getting the message out there, you know, getting visible than I had even realized. Um, that was the turning point for me. So when you got to that turning point, and I know we did, we did a couple of sessions. We've done a lot together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but when you started to learn about like the success path and, and the different things that we had, what made you say, this is the way that I want to go. This is the way that I want to learn SEO or that you think it would work the best for you. Mm -hmm. It just, it made sense. Understanding um, SEO, understanding how, you know, that that is something that you actually have to put into um, your your sites and your posts and things like that. That made sense to me. And, and I understood then how that creates traffic and that brings more people in. Um, and so, but realizing that I wanted to, you know, work with you, be a part of your program um, was that I, I wanted, I knew that I understood it in the workbook, but I also knew that the opportunity to, you know, have, some time to keep digesting it with instruction, but also working with other women who were also focused on this would be really helpful for me. So I realized that I wanted to do more. I wanted, the workbook was great and a good starting point, but I also wanted that um, that opportunity to work with you and work with other women. And I think the accountability piece was big for me too. So um, just, knowing that, okay, I'm, this is something that I'm working on and we're going to check back in. It, it was really helpful. Yes. You know, I love the accountability. <laughs> we have lots and lots of accountabilities with check-ins and everyone else, which I'll get into that a little bit because I know you guys are even doing a co-working session today, which I was really excited to see. Um, first, I want to talk a little bit about your fears. What were your fears with getting started? What were your kind of, maybe this isn't the road for me? Um, I don't know that I, I, I think one fear was that I was never going to get it. That was one fear. I, I, I felt like when I, I read the, the, you know, I read through the workbook and I did a lot of the activities, my fear was I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to be able to figure out how to actually implement this. Um, so I do, I do remember that being one of my fears. Um, and it initially feeling like, oh my goodness, it's so, it's so much to think about so much more that I thought that I needed to be thinking about. So um, I think that those were probably the two biggest fears. Yes, and the, the one that I'm never gonna get this. <laughs> I think a lot of people, um, a lot of people feel that way. Feel like it's just too much for me, or I'm not technical enough, or um, that's what I always hear. Since I do have a technical background, people feel like when they come to me, they're like, "I'm not technical enough." Yeah. And I'm like, "Little do you know, it's the least technical thing I do." <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, definitely never gonna get this. So, talking about where your business is heading and what do you think would have happened had you not done gotten into the program, done any SEO work on your business. Let's talk about that. Where do you think you would have been this year if we had not started working together? Probably almost like a year ago now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I have to say, so I think SEO, just learning that and incorporating that, I've seen the traffic to my site definitely increase. And I think if I hadn't learned this and started to really implement it, that that would not have happened. Um, I think so that's that's definitely been one thing. It's also helped to focus my content, right? Understanding, you know, what you teach around keywords and things like that. That has actually helped to focus my content. Um, the other thing that I think it's helped me is just just to be visible in general. So I've gotten my voice out there a lot more. Um, and I feel a lot more confident and comfortable with even just besides blog 
post, but posting and, and getting a message out. And I know that that's something that would not have happened for me otherwise. And you've been able to use a lot of what we do in the writing in your social. How does that help there as well? The continuity, I think just the continuity, the voice is being being clear that the voice um, needs to be the same across platforms. Um, of course, there can be there's slightly different audiences with each platform, but you don't want to be, you know, saying one thing over here, sounding one way over here and then, you know, completely sounding different over on this other space. So the continuity has been good for me. Um, it's helped me to focus what is my message. It's helped me with understanding even how to appeal to um, my my target audience, um, all of that has come out of this this work that we've been doing together over yeah like is that a year. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I love like seeing your stuff. I like all your things on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, overall, last question. Overall, what do you think? How do you think doing this, being in the program, and working on your SEO has really helped to improve your life and your business overall? I know you said you've gotten an increase in numbers, but how do you think, like life wise, even outside of just doing the work, how has it helped you? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's demystified some of this. I didn't understand how people brought people into their business. It's demystified that for me. Um, so that's been that's been big. It's made me more comfortable getting on platforms. So I've been on um, podcasts. That's something that you cover how to how to pitch. Um, and, and so that's definitely, you know, I've done more of those than I, I probably would have never even thought to do that. So that's, you know, been helpful. And, and all that means that I'm reaching more and more of the women that I want to be helping and I want to be working with. And so that that's my biggest thing. That's my like I'm each, I'm reaching that goal of getting my voice out there and letting more and more women know that I'm here. Um, and you know my passion is mental health. My passion is uh, women being able to achieve goals and things that are important in their life. So the more that I can get that message out, the the, the more I feel like you know I'm achieving what my goal is. Um, and I know that if I had just continued doing what I was doing, I don't think that I would have been reaching as many people as I've been able to reach so far. So I know I said that was the last question, but I have one more question. <laughs> um, so if someone's on the fence right now and thinking, I'm not sure if I should make the investment, I'm not sure if I should make the time investment, I'm not sure if I should get into this and if this is the right time for me, what would you say to them? I would say it's, it's definitely, um, a worthwhile investment because you're, you know, you're investing in your business, you're investing in yourself. Um, better to to do that sooner rather than later when you've put so much energy into things that maybe won't be as, um, you know, successful as this could help you to be. So I just think um, it's it's a worthwhile investment in your business and and also yourself and. I have to say that, you know, yes, SEO, learning that aspect of it has been a huge benefit. Um, being a, a part of, you know, your program has been a huge benefit. The community that it's um, offered has been wonderful. But I, I also think that there's been so many other tools and things that you've shared that, again, had I not been a part of, of this program, I would not have learned about. And they've made such a difference in the way that I'm thinking about a lot of my offerings and products um, and the way that I'm, you know, making that available to, to you know, women I'm going to be working with and, and you know, uh, individually, but also in, in groups. So. Thanks for that. I love that. I love how it's been so helpful. I've, I always forget the other things <laughs> that we've covered. Michelle reminded me when we did her interview about like the member vault training. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot we did that. <laughs> and everybody's on member vault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> everybody, yep. um, which is well worth the converting, believe me. Mm -hmm. um, so before we wrap it up and thank you so much for sharing your experience and sharing your thoughts on SEO and the program and sharing your journey. This is, this is definitely going to help someone who is thinking of what am I going to do next in my business? What am I going to do next to get myself out there? Can you just tell us where to find you? So if people want to go see what you're doing and stalk you, if they, they need help <laughs> um, and want to have a conversation with you, just give us a little bit about where they can find you. Okay. So you can find me. My website is uh, ravenswingsllc.com. Um, and you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, as well as LinkedIn um, uh, at the same handle at ravenswingsllc. Thank you, Raven. I appreciate you for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.